And finally, it's here. Now all YouTube users can test their video thumbnails and choose the one that gets the most views. Previously, this feature was only available to select few, but now anyone can try it out. So let's talk about how to use it most effectively in today's video. Uh, hi, Arthur here and welcome to Mobile Vlog. And the new feature in YouTube Studio that we're discussing today was in beta for a while, but now everyone can use it. Works on the principle of A-B testing, where viewers are shown several thumbnail options and you get statistics showing which version gets the most watch time. Actually, it's ABC testing because you can test up to three thumbnails at once and pick the best one. Let's break down how this feature works, how the winning thumbnail is determined and the rules to follow when creating thumbnails to ensure the testing works for you and brings in more views. If you don't see this feature in your YouTube studio yet, go to settings, select the channel tab, then feature legibility and then check advanced features. The feature we need is called test and compare thumbnails. Ensure your channel has access to these advanced features. If all is good, during video upload, in the thumbnail section, you will see three dots in the upper right corner. You can choose the regular upload method, an AI generated thumbnail, or test and compare, which is what we need. You can upload two or three different thumbnails to see which one your audience likes best. This feature is quite interesting. The test results are based not on clicks, but on watch time. The winning thumbnail isn't the one that gets the most clicks, but the one where viewers stay on your video the longest. YouTube creators believe that this metric is crucial for comparison and choosing the winner. They argue that watch time is the best way to show that the thumbnail attracted a quality audience that will potentially stay with you, subscribe, and watch your other videos. If a thumbnail gets many clicks, but viewers immediately turn off the video, it means either you made a misleading clickbait or the thumbnail doesn't match the video, leaving the viewer disappointed. Therefore, YouTube believes there is no point in promoting such thumbnails. Watch time, however, helps you achieve more growth on your channel and attract the right audience for your content. Some might find this new tool too simplistic since it compares thumbnails based on one key metric, but I would argue otherwise. First, YouTube has promised to improve this feature and add more assessment parameters over time. Second, its current simplicity makes it super convenient to use. You don't need to dig into the complex aspects of this tool. You upload free versions. YouTube does its job and you can focus on what really matters, the quality of your videos. For an average creator, understanding platform updates isn't as crucial as making genuinely interesting and engaging videos. If your video is of high quality, viewers will want to stay till the end after clicking on the thumbnail. And Mobavi Unlimited can help you create such great videos. Mobavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Mobavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Mobavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails you can crop resize, apply filters, and add text stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you are tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Mobavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Mobavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up. An 80% discount on all the apps and an amazing Mobavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe in. Okay, now it's time to talk about what kind of thumbnails to make to ensure your testing is most effective. Here are four simple rules to follow. First, avoid clickbait. Make sure your thumbnail doesn't mislead the viewer and genuinely reflects the video's content. The platform does not reward misleading thumbnails, and in the long run, clickbait will always work against you. Second, aim for simplicity. The thumbnail should not be cluttered or confusing. All elements should be isolated from each other, easily identifiable and readable. The viewer should understand what's happening on the thumbnail at a first glance. Even when viewed on a tiny phone screen, a simple way to make your thumbnail concise is to follow the rule of three, using no more than three elements in the image. Third, if you include text in your thumbnail, do it wisely. The words and phrases in the thumbnail should be simple and catchy. They should complement the title, not duplicate it. So 
avoid repeating words, and, and number four, play with contrast. No matter what device your video is shown on, the thumbnail should stand out among the rest. Check out the thumbnails of five to six videos in a similar topic and compare yours with them. If your video appears in a search among similar videos, its thumbnail should look different from all the others in style, color, and text. Suppose you followed all these rules and created two or three new thumbnails for your video and uploaded them. What happens next? It can take a couple of weeks for some videos and four to five days for others to determine the winner. There are no specific deadlines for when this test will end. It all depends on the number of people who see the video in their feed. The more impressions and views, the more data YouTube has to choose a significant winner. When YouTube finds a clear leader among the thumbnails, it will automatically set the thumbnail as the main one. If for some reason you want to repeat the test, you can start over. Just remember that if you start a new test, the results of the old one will be deleted. So if you want to compare something in the future, save the results to always have access to this data. I recommend conducting the testing process in two stages. First, test two or three completely different thumbnails in terms of image, style, colors, text, etc. It's important to make thumbnails that are really different from each other and see what resonates best with your audience. In the second stage, when you have a winner in the first round, you can make variations of this winning thumbnail and play with its individual elements. Maybe add or remove some details, increase or decrease the text, make the background brighter or more detailed, or simpler and more concise. Making such minor changes can significantly increase the number of views. When you test thumbnails for several of your videos in this two-stage manner, you'll start to understand better which elements work best for your audience and attract new viewers. And this will no longer be just your intuition as before. You will have concrete numbers to prove your point. And by the way, you can also test this feature on your old videos. Try making small or significant changes to your previous thumbnails. This way, you can boost the views of those videos and see which thumbnails give more watch time for your audience based on the new thumbnail. And I think it's a great way to breathe new life into all videos. The fact that YouTube is constantly changing, adding new tools, making changes to the algorithms and so on, makes us change along with it. And I think that's really cool. If you really want to succeed on this platform, you need to constantly improve, try new things, stay up to date, and keep creating engaging and useful content. Which I wish you all. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.